Hello. Good morning. Two of the best words I've learned since we moved to Scotland are dreek. Dreek, which is how it's been for the last few days. Yeah. And the other is boar bag. But we're not gonna <laughs> but we're not gonna go into that one. <laughs> so dreek <laughs> Isn't it though? It's it's good though, isn't it? So dreek means like damp and dreary and moist. It's drizzly. Not moist like that. Like <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? The ground, what? It sounds better when the weather, like, uh, there's a weather woman up here on BBC Scotland called Judith Ralston. She's lovely. Yes, yeah, she is. She, I mean, she's, she's Scottish. Uh, and when she says it, it sounds really good, doesn't it? Yeah, it's better in a Scottish accent. It, it, she was voted the, the UK's third most popular weather presenter. She's lovely. She is lovely. I like her. I like Sarah, who does the, the news on the morning on BBC yeah. Scotland. And I like Lewis, who does the sport. We know you like Lewis. Let's be lovers tonight. Anyway, it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah, enough about that. Uh, it's not Dreek today. No. The sun's come out again. Yeah, it's still a little bit chilly, though. I thought we'd have a little competition. All right. Because uh, this week is four years this week that we launched Narrowboat Silver Fox. Is it really? Four years. Wow. Uh, and I was looking at the YouTube channel and I thought we have a playlist which has all our vlogs in order from day one. Yeah. And you can basically watch them one after another. And yeah. if you stop and then start again, it remembers where you left off. Yeah. Uh, so I'll put a link on if you want to if you want to start again from the beginning. But I was looking at the they have like a thumbnail picture that is like the the, the album cover. It's yes, like an album cover it is. for the playlist. And I thought it's looking a bit dated. I might update it because it's like the fourth anniversary. Right. But I'm really crap at designing stuff. I am. I'm, no, you're not. No, I am. I'm crap. No, you, when you I, do it all. When I was a kid. And you know you, you, still used, are. you used to bring your drawings home from school. Yes. Every this is ask me, ma'am, if you don't believe me. Every single drawing I used to bring home used to be something on fire. <laughs> That's weird, isn't it? I'm not an arsonist or anything like that. And, and it is a bit of a coincidence my dad was a fireman. But no, everything, that's how bad I was. So I thought, because I'm useless and I've spent like, I don't know, three or four minutes trying, I thought you might want to have a go. All right. Uh, and design like an album. And, and, and we'll pick a winner and we'll send the winner a bag of something. You don't want to open it, but to make it easier for us to spot it, we'll have a hashtag. Yeah. And then I'm thinking, well, what can we, what can we use as the hashtag? Because we're designing an album. dreading this. We're designing an album cover. So why not just have a hashtag an album cover? <laughs> <laughs> Ah! That works, doesn't it? <laughs> An, An album, album cover. cover. Oh my! So, so send your entries on social media and just put hashtag an album cover, and we'll we'll choose a winner and send you a bag of some. <laughs> what? Well, you come up with something. I'm I'm sick of sat there trying. <laughs> right, this week then. So. Not only did it take Sean eight years to build his new chicken enclosure, <laughs> but after all that time, what's the last thing that you'd expect him to say he wants to do next? I don't know. Get more chickens? Yes. And another chicken coop? Yes. <sighs> Best get your coat on, because the sun's going in. I'm going to put my coat on. We're going to do something that should take an hour, but Colin's filming so it'll take three. Every single time, every single time, <laughs> in every vlog, all you do is moan. And we haven't even, I've literally just turned the camera on and you're already moaning that it's going to take too long. Well, <clears throat> you, haven't, well you haven't even told the viewer what you're doing yet. We've got a new chicken coop. Well, a box. Yeah, boxes of it, flat packed. So why do we need a new chicken coop? Because we've only we, just built one. Because we gave more hens. Why are we getting more hens? We want more eggs! Why do we want more eggs? All we do is give them away and sell them. Well, it pays for the feed. We could be millionaires this time next year. No, we won't. Eggy heirs. <laughs> so what's, is it, what, what's Diff tell us about this, this chicken coop then? Well, this one is just going to attach close to the one we already have and it'll house six to nine hens. Oh, so it's now gone from six to nine, has no, it? No, that's the specification. Right, what sort of hens are we getting? Uh, just normal hybrid hens. 
It's a bit dark and gloomy in the train barn, so let's get this lot outside so Sean can crack on with building it. You like chickens, don't you? I do like them, yes. I love hens. They're a bit of a pain in the winter, but when you go out there in the morning, they're always there to greet you, and they're all lovely. I'm always there to greet you. Bit of morning glory, say hello. <laughs> you can't say that! <laughs> Shall we fast forward this bit? Unusually, Sean's actually reading the instructions, so the finished chicken coop might actually stay in one piece for a while. This one came flat packed in two boxes, and it fits together really easily with some basic tools. It took Sean just under an hour to assemble it, and that included 10 minutes reading the instructions upside down, a quick nana nap and a cup of tea. With the coop assembled, I put some clothes on and then gave Sean a hand carefully moving it down the croft to the enclosure where we can attach it to the other coop. So how are the two coops going to fit together then? Well basically that one is going to slide in here and it'll fit here and I'll cut a little hole in here so that they can get in and out and then they can all use the automatic door. And here I've got to shift a load of stone because this is an old ancient wall and it's just all stone i've got to shift that level it out and sit it there the new chicken coop needs a solid foundation so after moving the stones from the old wall sean's digging a trench to lay some concrete blocks and the coop will stand on those blocks and attach to the existing wooden frame now Sean's just like his dad in lots of ways. One is that he forgets he's not a teenager anymore and he does get carried away when he's doing heavy jobs like this. I'm betting he'll be fast asleep within an hour of us finishing the vlog. Right, it's in the position it needs to be in. It's on the blocks, it's up against the other coop. All I need to do is secure it to that other coop and then cut a hole where the door is so that they can get in and out and then they can use the same automatic door. The nesting box is on this side, away from the wind, so it's nice and sheltered. Now he wouldn't let me show you the video of his bum crack while he was in the coop drawing out the outline of the door, but once he'd done that he used a jigsaw to cut it out, then brought the new coop back into its permanent new position, climbing inside the existing coop to securely screw the new one to the old wooden frame. With that, job done. She understands every word I'm saying. She does. Oh yeah. So, you finished it then? Yes. What well, was the most dicky fault bit? Dicky fault. Lining it up and cutting the hole to make it. Yeah. Lining it up. I could hear the swearing from in our shack. I don't swear. <laughs> Not much. <laughs> Swear. You'd make the no. What's the phrase I'm looking for? No, I better not mention the Pope, so I'll get into trouble again, won't I? Uh, so how many how many hens can we fit in that in that new coop then? Now uh, nine. And how many are you getting? Eight. Oh, what sort of chickens are you getting? These. Oh, can't we have a fog on leg on? A fog <laughs> what? It's a real chicken. It is. I know. What about some naked chickens? No. Have you seen them? No. I, I saw a photo online. Look. Oh my god, no. Are they ace? No. <laughs> Look at it. That is it. We need some naked chickens. We don't. Well, we need to find names for the new chickens. So I think it might be good if you started if you started sending suggestions in. Not Megan though, because we lost a Megan, didn't we, we last did. year? In that let's call it a watership down moment. Yes, it was. We don't want to talk about that. She had a nice send-off, didn't she? She had a nice cremation. It were a lovely ceremony. <laughs> Well, we have to tell them that, don't we? Where do you want your ashes scattering when you die? <laughs> Me? Yeah. Oh, anywhere. I don't care. We'll I won't be here. We'll remember that. I won't mind putting on windowsill, but in on a windowsill with a nice view out, I think. That's what I want doing. But I want you to take a little bit of my ashes out of my urn and put it in your tea one day, just so that I can be inside you one last time. <laughs> <laughs> I 
You can't say that. I know. It's like close to you. Yeah. No. Uh, next week. We're going to give you some information on Operation Sherlock. Ooh. I can't wait. We've already filmed that, so I can't wait to tell you a bit more about that. Uh, but that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you're not already, please subscribe to our channel on yes, YouTube. Please. That would mean a lot. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. And if you hit the wiggly waggly ding dong bell, uh, YouTube will send you notifications every time we release a new video. It will. You should start saying this because it's giving me throat ache again. Oh, I'll never remember it. Mm. Uh, if you want to help support the channel and feed this, what's it called? Uh, Flock. No, there's a word for it, not minge. Menagerie. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> cannot say that. Menagerie. <laughs> it sounds like it. Sounds, <laughs> isn't it? it sounds like that. Uh, help feed the menagerie. Uh, and it really does. <laughs> There's a link up above, Sean said, on some devices. If not, it's down in the video description. It's not a word we use very often, that, is it? Uh, Tesco sell it, don't they? Too. <laughs> Uh, turkey mince. Stop it! Is it? No. Uh, right, we better go before YouTube turns <laughs> us off and cancels us. Uh, we'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Ta -ra. I have trouble remembering. You have trouble. Oh, bye. So, what's going on over there? Let's find a nice spot to do some filming. I've walked a mile around this property. <laughs> Now we can't remember what he's doing. <laughs> Where have you gone? <laughs> True story, that tarpaulin was at one time a pair of Sean's underpants. It was. I'm knackered. I'm zooming in on that hole in your jeans. <laughs>